Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. MoClever and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in a mod I've yet to feature on the channel yet. And that is the Age of a New Beginning mod, I'm also using Play of the Peace Conferences as well as the State Transfer Tool mod. But we start off with Italy, and actually start off with like 200 political power, but even though we're on historical, I kind of want to take out someone early on just because we can and they're not too strong probably. But they do have some cool national spirits here in Greece. But I decided to try this mod just because... It was actually recommended to me in my Discord server. Right now we got, uh, for National Spirits, Victor Emmanuel III, Vittoria Mutilata, um, Sicilian Mafia, which is not good, Liga's Nation's Sanctions, which we don't really care, the Great Depression still hurts us because we're all depressed, and the London Naval Treaty Signatory. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not a very good um, Italian player. Like, I purposely avoid them because I'm just really not good at playing Italy. So we'll see what happens in this campaign. I could take out Yugoslavia first, but they're actually guaranteed by the Czechs and the French, and I'm like, eh. I'm sure we could take them out, but I don't really feel like it, so. Industrialize the nation, or begin to expand the Regia Marina, which I do like to do that one. Um, this stuff is not bad. I think, well, eventually, we gotta go with Mr. El Duce there, but industry, resource efficiency gain. We gotta figure out whether we wanna do equal funds for factions, or double the funds to industrialists. So, I definitely wanted to do this one because that one helps us build things even faster. So, there's a lot of options we can take, but let's just begin with industrialization. nation. The nation of Italy is falling behind other nations industrially. We should see to it to the complete industrialization of our great nation. This will cause a loss in the short term, but will benefit us greatly in the long term. Also, as you can see, like, there is no backing to this. You can actually just see the map itself, so which is kind of cool. It's a little different. I'm not saying it's good or bad, but it's definitely a little different. So, trying to build up some stuff there. Obviously, we're at war with Ethiopia, and I forgot to do this off-screen. Um, whoa. You only get three, maybe? Hmm. That's interesting. And the division... Oh, division. The tech tree is slightly different as well. These tank... Italy kind of sucks, I'll be honest, man. Colonial? Um, yeah. Huh. Yeah, Italy just kind of sucks in general. But we have some political power. We can ban the treaties, or we can cheat on the treaties. Which I think we'll cheat on the treaties, but for this campaign, while Italy historically was more focused on actual, like, capital ships and heavy ships... I want to get more carriers. I love carriers for some reason right now. At the time of this recording in like June, when I'm playing this, I just love carriers. But right now we only get 0.53 political power every single day. It hurts because of the Great Depression mostly and the Mafia. But I'm going to go with partial mobilization immediately. Just so we can build a few things up. But we do have some Africans to gas. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's time to gas. Is it gas time? It's gas time. Alright. Welcome to the new Age of a New Beginning mod. Cool. Um, it won't take very long to read this, so this mod is done most, mostly by one person called Ghost, the not-so-friendly dev. Uh-oh. Much support from partners, which is good, good, good. The mod story, um, it's in the description of the Steam page. I'll leave, and also, I'll leave a link to the mod. It'll be the first link in my description below, so. Uh, da -da -da. actually, have I joined the Discord server? I might not have at the time of this recording. Cool. Active MIA. Um, uh, what? Click. I shall click this shiny button. Oh, was that bad? I'll click the shiny button. Okay, so if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. This is probably the uh, story behind yourself. This is not much. This does not have much sense, but I will like it. I promise. The fall of the hill helm proved to be the start of a new age for a new beginning. Cool. I hope we do well here. I really do, because there's no guarantee that I will <laughs> do well. Oh, oh yeah, and he's going to move on. Just go ahead and start attacking, guys. It's fine. I really don't care. I mean, you can just just do a general attack. I've already put all the planes on here anyway, so. We should do generally okay, but you know, it didn't do so great here historically. You guys be attacking there. Um, are you guys attacking? No, you're not. So there you go. Terrorists attacking Rome. Today in Rome, Italy, over two and a half tons worth of mustard gas was detonated in the southern part of Rome. The gas was detonated by Ethiopian nationals who entered the country posing as British arms dealers. The Ethiopians deposited crates all over their southern Rome, detonating them by the ignition of grenades, most of them dying in the process, taking with them over 49,000 people and many more still struggling between life and death. More will be heard in the newspapers of the world as soon as more information is found. Italy is in great turmoil and grief. The war became from something supported by the people to something that divides Italy even more. Many say that if Mussolini would have taken power, Italy would have been somewhere else by now. And the other side, many states that it's a king's fault. A thing is certain, Italy starts to crack. How could Mussolini let something like this happen? Oh, 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 we have different ideologies here, do we? Okay, so instead of non-aligned, it's author authoritarian. Okay, nationalists, commies. Okay, cool. You guys go there, you guys go there. Just do a general attack. Their own bombings. Oh, world tension increases? That's not good. 
people protest against Mussolini. After the recent Rome bombing, there has been quite a huge wave of protests spreading across Italy that gave a huge critique of Mussolini, allowing such a thing to happen. This could very well turn into a full-blown revolt if we don't take the right actions by, by squashing the rebellion, but squashing the rebellion might only make things worse. Uh... Let them grief and protest? Ooh. Well, I just kind of want to do historical here, please, with Mussolini stays. Where to be peace with Ethiopia? It does not have the bombings. Which is exclusive. And this one, well, if we don't get Mussolini, then whatever. At peace with them after some time. Mm. Mm. Uh, democracy and authoritarianism? No, I, I, I honestly, I have no idea. Let them revolt. <laughs> I guess. If we don't say it's Mussolini, whatever. Alright, so we got a lot of guys here, as you can see, for our political ministers. Obviously, the cabinets are definitely different than normal. Well, these are all nice. We don't get anyone who does um, daily political power, but since we're at war, I don't mind doing this one, because Minister of Finance gives you minus 5% consumer goods, but this guy, the Minister of Agriculture, gives you minus 5% consumer goods, as well as supply consumption. So, why not? So, even though I think up next, I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, uh, Army XP every day. Every day. Every day, army XP. If we're losing, we'll do we'll do fine. I don't really care. I'll be honest. I really don't care. Ethiopia is really not that bad, as far as I can tell here. So, and it's going to give us a lot of army XP. We've lost less than a thousand guys. I've lost seven thousand. This is for the Rome bombings, you pieces of garbage. Ah, and then Sucumus. Now we could spend time just like not stay at war with Ethiopia, but whatever. Cool. And what's up? Italy takes to the skies. Air doctrines, air bases are nice. Land doctrines, training time goes down. Naval doctrines, actually, that's really good to get right now. Um, start balancing the economy in Italia. I do want to rush down towards this thing, so start balancing the economy of Italia, and then we'll probably grab some dockyards. The Italian economy is generally favor the agricultural sector, but the industrial and military sectors hold just as much importance. Very true. Very good. And Rodolfo Graziani, logistics wizard, please. Italia. Oh no. And you guys are just kind of hanging out. Pietro. On yielding defender might not be bad to actually get. Panzer later. Yeah, you can go with Panzer later. Or Panzer expert, I should really say. We have no fuel, but that's alright. Just gas, 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 gas. Remilitarization of the Rhineland. Also, like I said, we're on historical, even though I'm trying to go to war with Greece early on, so we'll see what happens. Usually, when I take their capital, they usually capitulate, but then again, this is a different mod, so we'll see. Harar. Which is something we'll need. And also, this is part of the difference. So, you, you can, as you see, the, the electronic engineering side is definitely different than normal. Let's get some more research speed first. And we're trying to get some carriers. Like, I love carriers. I love them, fly boys. Okay, there you go. Um, it's always a question do I puppet them or do I directly annex them? Honestly, with. I love just. I don't know if there's anything here if we can. Hmm. I guess we can always release them, probably. Maybe not. Hmm. I usually like to straight up annex them, but honestly, they only have 2.6 rubber, maybe? So, and you only get two military factories, you might be able to get manpower out of them, use their divisions as manpower, so I'm just going to pop at them. Unless there's, some, unless there's a focus here, we could, I, don't, I don't know. If there's a focus regarding Ethiopia, maybe then we'll just like, I don't know, we'll see. Just pop at them for now, that's fine. Do we have anything here about Ethiopia at all? Like, I, well, it helps if I spell it correctly. Uh, Ethiopia gets more stuff here. Libya annexation. We get cores on Libya eventually. It honestly does not look like it. There's that one. And then spread autonomy to the colonies. Oh, it just release them anyways as a puppet. So, okay, I mean, that's fine with me then. Because I don't want to deal with the resistance down here. I honestly don't really... Okay, well... Wait, what is this? Take subject state. Transfer the second state for 50 political power. Claim subject state. Found National Integration Movement. Huh, that's kind of cool. Claim subjects colonies. Relocate civilian industry. Make subject independent. Transfer states. Um, That's not the state transfer tool mod. No, that's something completely radically different. That's kind of cool, actually. That's a nice addition. So now we got to figure out how we're going to kill off Greece. Because are they guaranteed by anybody? No, and we love it. So uh, let's go on just by a little bit. And actually, since... Yeah, we don't have a lot of fuel, do we? No, we do not. So, you guys, stop doing what you're doing. You did a great job. Just hold for now. Hold yourselves. We like holding ourselves sometimes. And do that, and then train. Cool. So, let's send these guys in. Um, these divisions, these are 12 combat width. Well, these other guys are also 12 combat width, but with engineers. So, that's really, really important. Let time go on. Um, really, at least the military sucks. <laughs> Dobruk. 
Oh, uh, you guys are going to invade there. So unhappy guys. Hopefully this goes well. Benghazi, go there. There you go. I'm not sure why. Why would we invade it there first? Really? Um. Uh, actually, no. Screw that one. Screw that. You guys. Hmm. Patras first, and then go from here. We want to take at least these areas first. Corinth probably would be good to cut these guys off. Yeah, that's six divisions. We can send. I'm going to send you guys to Sicily first. There you go. That'd be nice. Anything here? Oh. Oh, second London Naval Treat. Ooh, boy. We could abandon them. I'll probably just abandon it. Just screw it. I don't care. Collaboration government? Nope. Alright, you guys are moving around, which is nice. We still have no fuel, because we... Okay, we literally have no fuel. Um, Don't trade with those guys. Trade with Romania. There you go. Cool. Bouncing trade, and... Nothing happened here yet, so we still have bombings. We might still have to deal with that, but Grant funds industrialists. The Great Depression has hit the industrial sectors especially hard. Our current funds aren't enough to support them, so we need to double their funds. This will have a hard, short-term effect, but it will surely do us good in the long run. Is there anything about the bombings? I mean, Ethiopia has been taken care of. Like, we made sure we really took care of them. Cool. Basic tools. Uh, what is this? Concentrated versus this one. I like dispersed usually, so we'll go that way. Cool. So we have four more. Give me... Oh, actually, using you guys would probably be good. We're still 12 combat with... And a, with ooh, artillery. So one, two. You'll come from here and invade to right there to cut these guys off. And then boom. And then boom, boom. You guys will go from Messina. Messina. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to have naval supremacy there too. So cut that off. Go right there. Um, really, we're going to take both of these so we can connect the entire way over there, hopefully. That'll be fine. Now the time go on. Uh, if you need a train, go ahead. If everyone needs a train, just go ahead. It's fine with us. Training is good. We need more army XP, even though we're doing quite well on that stuff, anyways. Uh, but civilian oversight is probably what we're gonna keep. Uh, you guys, you know, just in case, just just call him Gary's. Gary E. Uh, you can go. Uh, go medium. That's fine. And Gary. Just in case, I don't want to actually use those horses for something else. Just in case. Uh, deck conversions. These guys are actually not terrible. They're not great, but they're not terrible. We're going to start making some 36 carriers soon, though. That'll be good. All right, the planes are still training. Let everyone else train as well. Also, we started with this many ships. They, it's a little too bad until you actually take a look at their designs. And then you're like, that's not too bad. And then over here, you do the same thing with uh, heavy cruisers. They're not bad. I just don't really like using them too much. Nah, it could be, could be worse. It, these could be a lot worse. Obviously, you gotta have enough planes to cover everything here, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. Ah, construction, very good. Max factories in the state. Minus 1% consumer goods. Is that really worth taking? Uh, 1%. Eh, that has uses. It definitely has its uses. Uh, let's go Spirit Fire for now. I'd rather get that started first. Grant funds the industrialists, which is nice. And, and then fund the Astaldi Industries. It is still remains heavily agriculturally based, with the majority of the countryside remaining to be new rural. Cooperating with the Astaldi company would help bring Italy's rural section up to pace with our modern counterparts, which is very good. Grants two civilian industrial complexes and one of the main regions of the country, only if we decide to sign them to more important national programs. Cool. Anything else here? Not really. So, hopefully Mussolini stays here for a while. No, no, there's no change here yet, so we just got to get ready to invade. And we won't port even more fuel, like, when the time comes, so... That'd be nice. Oh, Ethiopia. Oh, we can make divisions using that manpower. Ah, that's not bad. I don't mind throwing you in the mix in. Alright, for you guys. Request forces. I'd love to request gears and support. There you go. Wow, that's not very much now, is it? Um, You do have a little bit of rubber. Not very much. Fuel-wise, you guys honestly don't have very much at all. What are we building? Seven? Well, it's okay. Hmm. suppose we could use it. Let's see. Division designer. No, it's this one. That's not bad. Not great, not bad. Infantry, 10. Oh, this one. I don't want to throw away manpower, but we don't have a lot. Eh, artillery's not too bad. Throw on... How much artillery? Oh, we have more of this. And guns. There you go. Train, 1. Maybe just 1 for now. There you go. It doesn't cost us that much army XP, so 
That'll be good. And we'll get some more. Definitely won't invade Greece. Oh, and they go Spain. We could help them out, but... Uh, we have about a month. We can help them out for a little bit, maybe. That's not too bad over here. Oh, uh, grab that one, too. Why not? It's only one. It's only two months-ish. And volunteers. Would you like some volunteers for now until we give up on you? Three divisions. Um, Send all but one. I don't want to have to send too many things in. You can send in messy with them, but whatever. Yeah, you don't require anything there. That's good. You guys do this. Another division. Nice. There you go. Cool. And you can see we have some divisions guarding our border against Yugoslavia. Still guaranteed. Alright, not bad. And planes. Where did I put the planes? They're up here, huh? Oh, well. There you go. Send about 100 of you guys over. That's fine with us. Come on down here. Do Southern Iberia for now. I'm going to increase this by one more as well from Romania. The Navy takes so much fuel. If that's the case, I'll stop training the Navy as much. At home, maybe a little bit. Because the subs will get done, hopefully, soon enough. Ooh, looking like a mess. Nice. Any field marshal? I don't really want to use that one, but that's alright. Let's go right on ahead. That's fine. Actually, does Germany have a unique focus tree in this mod? I have no idea. Nice flag! Um, no, it looks like the, the vanilla Hoi 4 one. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. Go right on in. And at this point, uh, because that one's done, I'm going to go grab some more fuel. Because we're going to need it for our navy. So right now, we're going to screw uh, pretty much everything else. Max out the fuel for now. And screw the industry right now. And he stays, huh? After 36. Well, we didn't do anything with it, so... I and mean, we don't stay with them. I don't really care. I'll be honest. I don't really care, but we'll see. Um, border investments, double industrial stuff. That's not bad. You get plus max factories in the state plus fifteen percent. Max factories in state minus ten percent. I'm not sure I understand that one really well. This one gives you a lot of good infrastructure. And on this side, open the industrial heart of Italy, which looks pretty good for industry, of course. Dockyard construction speed, civilian factory construction speed, military industrial power construction speed. Um, military factories, Italian mechanization program, invest in small arms, amend the industrial laws, which is not too bad, and then grant loans to industrial companies, which is okay as well. But if we, but if we do this side, equal funds for the factions. That's not terrible, actually. Um, you get infrastructure, infrastructure, civic factories, civic factories. You get some more stuff here. Civ Sicilian Acts. After any of the Sicil Sicilian Acts, we'll gain one industrial complex and one regional upgrade of the infrastructure in the region, if it's still owned by us. The modern aqueduct. More research construction speed, which I actually do like. Synthetic refiners would be very, very good to grab. That one's okay. It's not really great. Um, infrastructure, infrastructure. L way less supply consumption, which I do like as well. And then you go to straight to war economy. I would be at war for this one, but you get much, much slower civilian factory construction speed, and that actually hurts your supply consumption, huh? Okay, that, okay, I didn't realize that one. So basically, you don't get any better supply consumption, but you go straight to war economy. Eh. You get faster, faster military factory construction speed, but you lose civvies. Eh, that's okay, but you do get to more construction speed. I like the construction speed, but eventually that won't really matter. But this is permanent. Basically, 10% more construction speed. Or just 10% for whatever one you want more. Ooh. There's a lot of infrastructure up here, though. The Beretta deals. I kind of like Beretta, but let's, I'm going to go up here first. Mm, the land battle vision. The war, land war is the most important part of warfare and we should be taken with a grain of salt. Modern doctrines, weaponry, and tactics have evolved far beyond the Great War. We should not let ourselves fall behind. And since we're here, let's go and stop training anyways. Just because we just do not have the funds, or the funds, the resources to keep training for now anyways. So, boop that. There you go. Start building up a, a big old thing of fuel for us. Lots and lots of fuel. Games of Olympiad, nice. Alright, see what we can do here for now. Are they doing last stand? I kind of doubt it, but... No, they're not, but we do have air superiority now. There we go. Well, as soon as we showed up, we gotta leave, so... Oh, Iraq. Yeah, that's fine. We need a lot of fuel, so give us about... Oh, oh stop training, too. Stop training, stop, 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 stop. I thought I thought told him to stop training. Give him about, like, five days. Five. Four. Three. Two. Alright, we gotta go here now.
It's going to cost us a fuel very quickly. Whatever. And uh, enable evade if we can. Wait. There are no units assigned to this order. Oh, you're all going in there. Okay, that's not really good then. Well, you're all going in there then. Whatever. We'll see what happens. Um, hopefully this doesn't go very poorly. If it does, then oh well, but whatever. Maybe we should get naval supremacy first. Um, are you kidding me? We don't have enough naval supremacy here in the GNC. Do this one. There you go. There you go. Now we can go. Civilian imports. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, it is almost 1937, but not quite there yet. Let's grab this. You guys got to make sure you win. Like, I'm, we're not going to stop here for that. Carrier holes are nice. 37. Grab some of that stuff as well. Uh, hopefully we can naval invade successfully. What ooh, Modules. It's fine. That's fine. We got we got 10 naval XPS. That's not too bad. Engines are okay. Grab at least one of these things. And we can make it if we really want to. Let's wait a little bit. I like a little bit of deck armor as well. Thank you. And we've landed. Good. Take the port. And go up that way. Because now we're going to call you guys over. Go ahead and get ready to invade. Come down here quickly. Oh, actually, that's something. Look at that. Ah, uh, four convoys, whatever. It is what it is. All right. Yeah, no, you guys got to force the attack. Nice. Land battle vision. Uh, hiring foreign military advisors. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. We should take advantage of our improved relations with the foreign nations to improve our military. If we do this, then we'll be able to adapt to the battlefields that we will fight in. The mountains of the Alps, the deserts of Africa, the plains of the Balkans, we will secure dominance. We will, and we must. Keep going. You guys cannot stop. Alright, so we got those guys. That's good. You guys, head on into. Just gotta hold on until we get down there. Is this a dumb way of doing it? Oh, absolutely. We're only attacking to keep these guys here, so. Force defense. Can't go competing, nice. Get some more reinforce rate. Oh, and you know what I forgot? Planes. Planes, 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 planes. Duh. There you go. That's what. That's what's up. No, stop that. There you go. And head on down here if you can, and head down there too. Should be there very, very quickly. Oh, the provisional governor of Libya. Nope. Nope. Hey, we landed. Great. Send you guys right there. We cut these guys off, That's, which is very good. And we've landed. Great. That supply is very bad, but we're going to actually readjust this just a little bit. Cool. So you guys will be the main land forces down here. You guys are actually not going to stay here. You're actually going to leave and go from uh, here to Chania. That'd be good. Cool. And then you guys... Actually, just do this. It's fine. Three more divisions. We'll probably send them back to there whenever we can. Um, You guys go from here to invade Thessalonica, if you can. <clears throat> that would be good. And then you guys are just going to hang out here. Ish. Oh, we must have lost a few divisions on the attack. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care. Because <laughs> the supply issues, we're not going to stay there. Um, just hang out here. Hang out. Keep hanging out for now. Is this a bad invasion of Greece? Probably. But I don't want to deal with them. I really don't want to deal with them, so that's why we're doing it now. Oh, hide on map urbanization. Oh, what is that? Urbanization. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Can we get any more fuel? That'd be really nice for us right now. That's fine. I don't really care. Alright, so you guys. Oh, I definitely don't want to do this. Can you actually just do a general attack, maybe? They're, they're looking pretty weak. They're not that strong right now. You guys are doing fine. You guys will be fine. You guys will be fine. Head on out. You should be okay to keep, at least keep them there for now. Oh boy, you, you guys are sucking hard. How much longer do we have to wait? Oh my gosh, that's a long time. Hire foreign military advisors and invest in higher training. Uh, we could. This one. Germany is one of the few nations after the Great War to continue extensive military expansion. Despite limitations from the Treaty of Versailles, they are still a major power and will be very useful to us. As soon as they're done attacking, we're going to attack them right back. There you go. Good. Um, are you guys good to go? You try it. 
See what you can do. I'm so used to the Star Wars mod where you just you launch and immediately. Hey, took Athens, nice. All right, let's finish them off over here in Crete. That'd be very good. Awesome, good job, guys. Good job. Heraklion, uh, no Cyprus. Uh, go over here and there. That's fine. Are you guys good to go yet? Nope. We got another week, which is fine. And we're out of fuel, which sucks. Yeah. Never enough fuel here in Italy. Almost ready to go. The army's doing quite well. Um, actually, some one of you guys back here. Please don't let him die this way. Superior firepower will be helpful. Be very, very, very helpful. And grab you and throw you in the mix. Because you can. There you go. That's what we like to see. And we're off. Is this, that's probably one of the dumbest ways I've ever done it, uh, Italy. <laughs> oh well, that's alright. Mm, I don't want to kill off my tanks, but you guys go up there. Take out the victory point. Alright, so we've lost, what, 30,000 versus 52,000? Yeah, that's not too bad. Slightly more confident than, I guess, real-life Italy. You guys might want to help the attack, though. The anti comments are back. Germany proposes that we sign a pact to address the commenter's goal of spreading communism worldwide through the use of subversion and violence. By signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation with against this menace. Nope. Absolutely not. Actually, that's pretty smart to move over there first. Go over here and help them out. I don't want to invade until we're pretty much ready to go. Are you guys good to go? Go ahead. Try it. You know what, screw up. You're going into. Okay. Okay, well, they just gave up. All right, then. Um, I kind of want to do direct annex. I'll take all this for now. We'll see what happens. Nice, not bad. Now they blew up the world attention to 24%, which is really bad, but whatever. Yeah, that definitely was not my best invasion ever. But uh, whatever. Now, is it worth keeping them here? I mean, do we get anything about Greece here? Oh, trade naval designs. Uh, they're dead, though, already. So, alright. Nothing here about Greece. So, actually, can we... I don't think we can form Rome, can we? Probably not. Oh, well. Yeah, actually getting their factories would be really nice. Actually, they have quite a few resources here in Greece. So, you see all this aluminum, tungsten, uh, steel, chromium, chromium steel. So, not too bad, actually. And we do get Crete, so. Maybe that was a bad idea to do, but whatever. Go ahead and go home. And go ahead and go home too. I usually I like to go Yugoslavia, but oh well. So let's go back to National Spain. Cool. And you guys are doing what? Let's go here. Um. Oh, we're still on that map mode. Okay. You guys go there, and we'll send one of you guys back. Oh, actually, where did the uh, other planes? There, there, there. Nice. Cool. Now we definitely don't, don't need this much fuel. So, so Union, goodbye. Drastically reduce the amount we need right now. Happy 1937, everyone. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Depth charge throwers. Oh, that's nice to get. And I'll grab some of that, too. British Italian Tank Research Program. That's not too bad. Um. So, do we have to go this way, maybe? At peace. Doesn't have national... How do you get rid of the bombings, then? I guess you have to send in the guards, huh? That's interesting. Go visit the Roman vision. Rally the people for the elections. The king and his mistress will lead the country. The king will share power with parliament. Well, I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Spread autonomy to the colonies. Unite all Italians. Hmm. What else do we have down here? You know, all Italians under the king. Send the king to deal with the Pope. The king of Italia. Deal with France. Develop the French lands. French lands. Well, that's not bad. Create our own faction. I kind of like that. Well, I want to wait and see. Just because... I mean, it said... The, the Rome bombings. I mean, honestly, like the Rome bombings... The bombings aren't still going on. So... Okay, well... Alright. I think I might want to try, though. Equal funds, maybe? Hmm, the Heartland. We really want to build faster. 
But you get to, you do get synthetic refineries. I like those synthetic refineries. It takes so long to make. You know, I'll do this one. Equal funds for the factions. The industrialists and agriculturalists are currently fighting over who gets funding from the government. Then industrial and agricultural sectors are equally important. Why favor one over the other? Cool. There you go. Nice. Well, at least we did end up with a lot. We still have a lot of air XP. Awesome. You guys have earlier too. Thank you. And train. Actually, you guys only go there. Um, two armies, two groups. Uh, realistically, there. There you go. Was it worth taking out Greece? Probably not, but whatever. You never know. And head down to where? Oh, where's a good place to attack? Maybe over here. We'll see. Go bingo bongo bingo dingo. You do have quite a few planes, but that's alright. Gives a lot more air XP. Radio's done. 37. Um, air accidents chance. Radar would be nice. Director fire. Anything else? Dock your construction speed. Get more construction speed. That'd be good. So now that we have that, let's keep training our ships. Uh, we need more naval XP. Yeah, definitely need more. Wow. Uh, carrier uh, heavy ship is not bad. I'm not going to get rid of these guys. Anything that's class 1, though, I'm going to just go get rid of anyways. You guys are exact, very similar. Uh, that is not a capital ship, and these are not either. Okay. I think I prefer that one up top. There you go. Mm. All these others can go bye-bye. We're still making a lot of ships, as you can see here, too. So. Cool. Hopefully Germany does well in this, in this timeline, but you never know. Equal funds for the factions. Build the Messina Palermo Railway. Build the Messina Taranto Railway. Let's do that one. The current railway system to Sicily is a logistical nightmare. With mountains blocking our entrance to it, with the mafia causing damage to key infrastructure these last years. The only way to improve the railways is with direct government intervention. So I guess. Um. More than 15. Oh, wow. Uh, I can't really see. Like. Mark State? We don't have it on, no. Mark? I'm Mark. Yeah, well. I guess what you have to do with the protesters is like just kill them. I might go back and actually change that, so we'll see what happens. Because honestly, with the bombing still happening, like I don't understand. Okay, it, okay, so it'll be removed. Okay, so that's interesting. It will be removed eventually. I mean, we did already take over Ethiopia, so. Hmm. Weird. Odd. Now we need definitely need more guns down here, but whatever. Uh, oh, there goes those guys. Uh, should I release them? Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Which is uh, wise. We do have more than we do have enough chromium for what we really do need here, though. Which is actually really, really nice. I only need a spot of rubber, but that can wait maybe a little bit. Civilian imports, nice. Uh, stuff is all okay. Uh, sonars, yeah. Probably get some sonars just because I like destroyers. They're not as good as cruisers, you know, ship for ship, but still. They, eh. Hold for now. It's not working out right there. Uh, ooh. There you go. Do these guys. Alright. What's next? Create a collaboration government? No, we're okay for now. So after this one... We're going to go ahead and do this one. The meatpacking industry of Florence. Florence has an abundance of animals, many of which are slaughtered and exported, but the current method of meatpacking is ineffective and slow and needs to be improved. Makes sense. Uh, I'll just keep throwing guys in here. That's fine. Conscript the natives. Fine with us. More infrastructure means more resources. Hopefully. There you go as well. Very nice. All right. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about Madrid. This is better to attack and to sickle all those guys and kill them off. Change the United Front forms, which is fine. Cool, whatever, don't really care right now. Still gonna need more guns, but, you know, what else is new? Hindenburg Incident. So much for being historical. And you guys head down here. Mm, there you go, don't really care. And we've got them surrounded, nice. These guys will all die. Love it, love it, love it. Wow, that's really not a lot of political power now, is it? Their own bombings, the Great Depression, the meatpacking industry, Florence, you know. All the good stuff. 
Delay Doctrine is very nice. Go with Mobile Defense for even more defense, because we can. More Divisions, very okay. There you go. Oh, no more Sanctions, yay! Let's get to July so we can get rid of the uh, D-Boss to us. That's good. Um, it's a little bit ahead of time. What else we got here? Eh, that's way too ahead of time. It is 37, so it's not too bad yet. Let's grab this one first. You guys should be easily be able to take these guys out. Ease, with much ease. Very good, very good. We gotta fix up these tank divisions. They're just so bad right now. Throwing more tanks and such. There you go, head over here. And head over there too. Oh, look at all those divisions I have in here. Wow. Um, you know what? You hold. Don't worry about it. I don't want to waste tanks and lies, so. Alright, so these tanks just really are not very good. Go and do that. <sighs> engineers. Throw in the engineers, too. Mm, 16 combo width is not bad. I don't want to lower the organization right now, but do this. Let's go four. We're not going to have enough tanks for this, but whatever. Construction two. Get some more cap. Kill these guys off first. Get Make sure they have no supply. Meatpacking Industries. Very good. Uh, build the Messina Palermo Railway. The city of Messina is surrounded by mountains, but Messina also is an important railway to supply the rest of Sicily as an alternative to tra naval transports. Upgrading the railway would save much needed oil. And they have no resources, which actually really sucks, but whatever. That's gotta get done eventually, anyways. Hey, thank God we know a lot of the, the bombings. No more Boston bombings. And Mussolini will stay. And there goes China. The El Duce has so far proven his unforgiving loyalty to the nation, a great nation of Italy. Wait, he has also begun to modernize Italy at a rate never seen in Italian history with him making the trains run on time. We shall thus defend Mussolini's rank of El Duce at any cost necessary. Yes, yes. So that's really good. We got that carrier done. Um, we got this stuff that's most important right now. Sonar actually is really good to do. Let's do that one too. To make sure we make really good divisions as well. And we love Ethiopians here. Nothing like a good group of Ethiopians. A couple of incidents. We'll probably help them out as well. We'll see what happens over time, though. That's really good, though. Uh, let's see. We have maxed out fuel. We're going to load by one because we still need to build our own stuff up. So, Kingdom of Romania, I think. Yeah, that's good. You too. Uh, you guys are done. Your turn. We're going to use a lot of fuel for these guys, though. They are thirsty beasts. Absolutely thirsty. Head down here and train. You guys are actually pretty good already, so. Um, uh, we can't send 200... Uh, another 100 yet, really. Get some 50, but I don't want to lower it by 50. Well, at least we're getting some good army XP here. Nice. Ah, uh, 0.67 is not too bad. Yunnan, very cool. Let's grab those guys. It's not quite there yet. Get some better light tanks. Ah, uh, don't worry about attacking yet. Just, just kind of hang out. Never mind, they're dead. And then boom. That'll be good. Actually, can I send Ethiopians to help out over there? How many divisions can I send? Three. Okay. Well, hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Italian Ethiopians are being sent to China to help out in the war against the Japanese. So when the Japanese start fighting our guys... They're going to be really questioning. Why are there a bunch of Ethiopians in China? I don't mind sending planes, but uh, our fuel's not really that good anyways right now. Uh, get a lot more air XP, though. It'd be really nice. Boom, boom. How about right here if you can? See what you can do. Even though, actually, why did I send them to China? Well, I don't care. I mean, Japan... I always send them to China. Why did I send them to China? I need to send them to the Japanese. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. I'm playing both sides, so we always come out on top. Wait, why are there two? I thought we sent three. Oh, well, whatever. I guess you didn't make it there, huh? Oh, well. Oh, well. Alright, so let's finish off these guys first. This side's much more important than the Chinese side. You guys that are over there. Actually, go right there. Yeah. In Italy just does not have a good industrial base at all. You guys actually might just be able to do general attack, maybe? But then again, it'll help if I give you orders. Oh, well, there goes mostly natural Spain. Cool. 
And El Duce time. Mussolini stays. Which is actually fine with us just because, uh... Well... <clears throat> there's always more focuses to do, so... It's not bad. Mm, a lot of stuff can be... I'm going to do synthetic oil experiments because we probably definitely need some more of that. For now, I don't want to be bothered with this stuff, so do that. Um, I'd rather have a small but really effective army than massive amount of divisions, so... Small-ish. You guys keep doing what you're doing. Mussolini stays, which is great. Reveal the Roman vision. The time has come for Mussolini to reveal his Roman vision to the public. The high command of the Italian government has given unanimous support in Mussolini's ambitions. Mussolini has already laid out Italy's current ambitions, and, we'll script, and a script will be ready in a couple of weeks. Nice. I'm going to help out here. That's fine with me, too. Kill them all off as much as you possibly can, as long as they don't touch. Are they touching? Oh, that's disgusting. Don't let them touch. No touching here allowed. Active sonar, not bad. So that's really good for our destroyers. Okay, so all the naval stuff is done right now. Get some better fighters. So now we can make some fighters. Or some uh, destroyers. Now this shouldn't be too bad. Oh, these are light cruisers. Well, there we go. Now we need more naval... Uh, crap. Mm, well, finish these guys off first. I'd rather get these guys ready to go. Two, no radar, which is fine for now. Cool. Yeah, making these... Oh my gosh, it's going to take so long to make these guys. Uh, destroyers, well, well, we'll get there eventually. We got them done already, so that's okay for now. Oh, look at that. Battleship, you definitely need the battleship over here. Portugal seeks to purchase Italian ships. The Portuguese government, aware of their lack of a proper navy, has submitted a tender to purchase Italian ships. Should we accept to build the ships they desire, they'll provide us with goods we can use to our own purposes. Yeah, why not? You can have some of our ships, probably some really crappy destroyers, so I'm kind of okay with that. Whoa. Minor urban development projects. Oh, here we go. That's kind of cool. Metropolis region. Oh, that's so much political power. Holy crap. That's, is that is that worth doing? That might be worth doing. But honestly, I'd rather spend the political power to get like messy, like leading us or something. So, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I think the Spanish Civil War is pretty much over. Oh, they all died. So after this, lay out the future. Now the public knows about the ambitions of Mussolini, we must start to make talks with higher-ups as to what the overall geopolitical goals need to be. We've already decided that Mussolini's Roman vision could be achieved with an alliance, but what would be done next after those goals are completed is still being debated. Cool. And yeah, I do. I definitely want... Oh, actually, we're not... A, oh, we can go to War Economy. I'm going to go straight to War Economy. I know we can get it later on, but we got to build faster. 15 and 4? Not bad. And yeah, why did I send these guys over here? Why? Why? Why did I send a bunch of Ethiopians? I sent a bunch of Africans to fight for the Italian ancient. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm sure it hurts our manpower overall, but it's really not that bad. Could have done one more, because I'm going to start improving these guys. How much equipment do we have? We don't have enough. Artillery, then. Um, throw on a piece of artillery. We def Oh my gosh, we don't have enough. Uh, so, something to that. I'll help them out here, then. There we go. That's not nearly as bad. Actually, can we see some more planes over here? No, god dang, we cannot. Oh, man. Mobile defense is nice. Integrated support. Very, 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 very good. Oh, we have enough political power now. Um, I don't mind doing the Rome one. I'll see what 200 does. Major urban development. We use 10 civilian factories. Cus Tuscany changes the category of the state to metropolis region. I don't know what that does, but I want to I figure out what it does. Like, I want to see what happens. Because right now, there's hills. There's no other modifier here that we can see. Um, monthly growth, you can see that, base, so honestly, there's nothing here that says anything like that, but okay. Now, the historical one is the sheer power with the Grand Council of Fascism, probably, because you can request to join the Axis and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, the power of Mussolini, you get more fascist support for 450 days, remove Victor Emmanuel III. Um, political power gain for, actually, wow, that's actually really good. Political advisor cost goes down too, we get less war support, but I don't mind doing that. We don't get that much here. I mean, this getting rid of 10% stability is not great, but sheer power of the Grand Council Fascism. The Grand Council Fascism is an important aspect of Italy as it ensures that there is at least some sort of check on the bombastic Mussolini. As to make sure that we can have an even further check on Mussolini's actions, we must expand the amount of power the Grand Council Fascism has. The council will be made out of Benito Mussolini, Carlo Baldman Scorza, Rodolfo Garziani, and Giovanni Marinelli. Oh my goodness. Oh, very good. Where's their other tank? They're all attacking and such. Just send the Ethiopians to fight. That's all that matters. Who cares? Oh, we're gonna lose Beijing. That sucks. It's all right. I don't really care. I'm, I think the Japanese will win anyway, so I'm. I really don't care. 
And world tensions at 22%, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, the French are no longer guaranteeing them, huh? Another division, very good. Well, is there anyone else we can really attack? I mean, I'd love to kill off the French right now, but... Once we go to war with these guys, we definitely need more planes. Hmm. I'm going to weaken my defenses so they just continuously attack us here. Uh, well, it makes it easy. It just makes it super easy for us. Is there anyone else I really want to attack? I mean, maybe Turkey? Are they guaranteed by anybody? This will raise roll tension way too high, though. 9%, yeah, we can't afford that, so... Kind of sucks, but whatever. We don't really care. Oh, are you guys still doing stuff over here? Huh. How are the ships? You guys keep training, then. We still need more naval XP, so... Alright. Pro-German reassessment. Um, actually, let's, let's beeline down this path. We might actually have to do that. The Albanian Compromise. The relations are sour between Germany and Italy, especially during the Great War. Germany still opposes to be a powerful ally. Maybe it's best that we finally bury the hatch and reform the old alliance of 1882. Maybe that's a good idea. Mussolini establishes the rule of war. Today, Mussolini, accompanied by Carlos Scorza, Rodolfo Graziani, and Giovanni Marinelli, came to the king and put on his desk a list of papers in which it was presented in his abdication from power in favor of the new ruling entity of Italy, the fascist council. The king signed the papers without hesitation, wishing good luck to the new man, and started preparing to move to Bulgaria, where he will live with the rest of his family. The monarchy was rotting, was rotting cancer in Italy's path to greatness. Great! The gang of fours arrived! Not the German one in TNO, that at the time of this recording is really making me... Hmm, I'm not... Never mind, I'm not going to say anything about it, but... Yeah! Yeah! Good! Better things, please. Uh, how many guns we do not have? Actually, we have a good amount. Italy disposes of Victor Emmanuel III. He deserved it. Eh. Is that historical? I have no idea. I have no idea what happened to Italy before World War II. Except that, you know, gassing Ethiopia. But, you know what? Sometimes things have to happen. Especially if you're really incompetent. Ten's not bad. Let's keep attacking. Are they doing... I don't think they're doing last stand, but they might have done it early. Well, well, actually, they might be doing last stand. Maybe not. I can't tell. I don't, I don't care. Just let them keep going. I mean, they're veterans right now, which is awesome to see, but still. Alright, so we don't have enough tanks, do we? We have minus 389, which is actually isn't too bad. Motorize. We got enough motorized to change these guys out eventually. Yeah, just switch them out to motorized at this point. Four. Uh, and we want go six, so. Actually, we're going to lower our organization, which probably isn't good to do right now while we're in the middle of battle, but whatever. Get some of that, too. There we go. Influence Austrian politics. Austria has always been an important part of our strategy of keeping Hitler's Germany Bay, but Hitler has made been making efforts to increase Germany's influence in Austria, an action that is unacceptable to us. It is thus important that we make sure that Germany's influence is counteracted with our own influence. Very good. Oh, we won. Great. Great. Oh, another battleship? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. These subs honestly suck. <laughs> they really do suck. So, let's put you in half. Press D. Press D. There you go. Good enough. Great. Hey, good job, guys. Thank you for doing everything you've done over there. Um... Are there any other wars besides the one in China? Maybe not. I guess I could send you guys to Shangxi, but I don't really care. I'll be honest. Hey, they didn't lose Beijing yet. No, not yet. They will lose Beijing. They always lose Beijing. All right. So resource-wise, minus three hundred some pieces of artillery. Nationals victory in the Spanish Civil War. Very good. Grab some of these guys because we because we're trying to make carriers eventually. Obviously, we don't have them yet. But that's all right. Oh, we need more steel. That sucks. Oh, oh, political advisors. Loose political power, war stability, war support, stability, war support. Um, no, we can't do that one. I would like to do this one. Actually, we can do this one eventually. That's not too bad. Could be better, though. Chief of police, less political power. Resistance goes down, though. Gang of four. Fascism support. That's not great. That's, that's definitely a mixed bag. This is not too bad, either. I actually don't mind doing this one. I don't mind getting more political power, but 5%, honestly, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. I'd much rather get Captain of Industry, but let's see. Alright, so we did all that stuff. Albanian Compromise. Um, actually, come over here. Deal with the Mafia. For centuries, organized crime within southern Italy has proven to be a major problem for the people and for the government, even after Mussolini took power in 22. Though we're scattered and broken under Mussolini's authority. Now the many criminals, albeit loosely organized, still pose a significant threat to a rule and may begin to reveal itself in the midst. Nice. Alright, so now that we have a, uh, a good amount of fuel. Not a great amount of fuel, but... Do you need to train anymore? Nope, that's good. Oh, like are pretty good. We'll split up these uh, task forces to be a little bit smaller as well soon-ish, but not yet. Um, you guys looking okay? You guys are doing okay? You guys did a great job, so just send everyone over here too. How many more planes can we send? Can you send any more? Eh, send me one. Eh, it's kind of okay for now. China? They're definitely pushing out, but they're going to be killing themselves soon enough. Alright, because of that, I'm going to go and grab uh, who? a rocket scientist? 
air, air, naval, naval, army. We definitely gotta go naval. Oh. Oh, you only get 0 .03 and mobile warfare. Or grand battle plan and plus zero point. Well, I want more daily armor XP, so we're gonna go with him first. It's fine. Well, they neither one likes superior firepower, which makes sense, but still. Uh, I'm gonna keep you guys separate. Does, does anyone else go to war before Germany goes to war with Poland? Habsburgist. Oh, wait, Habsburgist. Also, Carl. Wait, when did Carl get here? Whoa! I guess Austria does have his unique focus tree. That's kind of cool. Shushinik? Wait, is this just? I love this on historical. Okay. But we'll try to change it. United. That's kind of cool. Invite the Habsburg to retake the throne. Well then. All right. Well, good luck with that. So for now, we got to go back over up north here. We can turn a blind eye to them, make deals with the mafia, and integrate the mafia into the economy, which looks really good for political power, even though it kind of hurts us already. But I want to go send in Cesare Mori. He wasn't dubbed the Iron Perfect for no reason, with his help in squashing the mafia with the help of Mussolini. He was a high-ranking member in the region of Sicily. He is thus the perfect man to send in the to help erode the influence of the Mafia in Sicily. Because I want to do him because he gives us a less resistance target and more daily compliance gain, which is extremely, well, I don't say extremely strong, but very strong to have as we take out more people. Um, available to political advisor. We lose that political power, but that's fine. It's totally fine. I want to do more projects. I want to do maybe greater urban development. I mean, no 200 places here. It's fine. I think I want to do Rome or Abruzzi or Ancona. Ancona next, probably. Nice. Almost one political power every single day. Not great, but we'll take it. Refinery construction speed. That's, mm, that's not bad. Not great, though. Uh, dockyard, max factories. Dockyards would be really good to get. I do like this stuff. So I'll get some radars. We're just not going to be ready for war, are we? No, we're not. Uh, who's next? Who, who, uh, industrial concern, maybe? Yes, we actually grabbed this one. So we're going to get this one next. Astaldi. Build, build, build. This was not too bad, but... Oh, it's 180. Oh, my goodness. That's 180. Oh, my goodness. Hey, good. Great, 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 Well, at least we don't have to deal with the Greeks later on. All right. Give Mori power over Sicily. To make sure that Mori's effort to eradicate the Mafia off, off Sicily doesn't go impeded by its laws in Sicily, we must help in removing those laws and giving Mori more or less total control over Sicily. Only then will we be able to fully sample the efforts of the Mafia. Even more daily compliance. Very good. So that'll help our territories here in Greece. Actually, that's, look, it's already 44%. That's really good. That's actually really nice. All right. As much as I want to do that one, I, I think it's just best to get this guy. We've got, we got to build. We got to build, 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 and then destroy the mafia. Now that Moore has finally managed to stamp out the last race of the mafia in Sicily, it's time for our leaders to announce to the Sicilian people that the danger of the mafia has finally passed, and they may enjoy themselves without having to fear it for their lives. So we get some more stability for exactly no more, no less. 458 days. Well, actually, do we really want to do that one? Um, uh, We have to get that, no, that one eventually. Uh, we remove this. I don't want to remove that just yet, actually. We can actually wait first, because we will have to do that eventually to get down here, deal with the farmers. So we got to get rid of that eventually. I want to keep that daily compliance game first, though. Naples is surrounded by mountains and cannot produce any crops for themselves and requires imports from other cities. But why depend on other cities? Naples may not have the ability to be have big Agarian factories, but we'll have enough for smaller ones. Still doing okay over there, which is not bad. Uh, Gun-wise, that's not too bad. That's really not bad. Can we actually throw on enough guns here? Make at least these 20 combo width. We will have literally five in reserve. Wow, that's not really good. Oh! Okay, yeah, okay, the Ottoman Empire is reestablished. Well, all right. That is something I was not expecting in this campaign. But all right. Computer machine is nice. Get some more decryption. Because that stuff is actually really good for your military. Just for battles. It's literally just the battles that... Can you actually win here? No, don't, don't waste lives. I know the Ethiopians, but don't waste their lives. So after this one, I would like to do that one. Breda investments, Breda deals. You have to do these eventually. I actually don't have to do them eventually. It's like an Italian Renaissance. I want to come up here and wait first. Make Austria a puppet state. I'd love to do that. Oh, yes, yes. These are both done. We're going to make some those guys as well. Oh, what's a cap? 600? 2,000. Wow. That's actually really nice. We're doing that as well. It is 38. Let's get some gun stuff. So whenever we can make carrier bombers and stuff, carriers, period, uh, we'll be good to go. But it's going to take some serious time before we get there. We're almost out of fuel. Crap. <laughs> All right. So after this... 
of course, to join the Axis. We're going to wait to do that. I want to go ahead and do British Italian tank research, just because the, the British might not like us eventually. Our tanks are out of date and ineffective. We need the help of foreign powers to help us improve our current designs, which will be good. We don't have a lot of manpower, do we? And that's why we went to Ethiopia first. So, oh, that's radio detection. Very good, very good, very good. And there you go. Just keep doing that for now. Oh, we got two weeks left. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. I mean, I, guys, I would highly recommend you don't kill off your own man. China, you got so many men, but you don't. Have, you only have so many rifles. Only so many rifles, man. Only so many rifles. Fourth international. Not bad. Since we're here, anyways. The nope. Nope. How dare you? How dare you even bring up garbage like that to us? Grab some anti-sub stuff. Get some sonars because then you can build a radio. Oh, actually, double sonars would be nice. Fire control. Honestly, I'm not going to use these guys for fire control. The carriers and cap ships are what are there for that. Oh, yeah, we can have both. Okay then. Actually, you do that, and then you guys come over here. Screw it. Why not? It's fine. Good enough. Now we just got to hurry up and build all this stuff. It takes forever to build. Cool. And this one. Urbanization would be nice, but whatever. Um, this stuff can kind of wait. This is not super important. Oh, oh, you get more recruitable population, though. That's actually really nice to get. I'm going to go ahead and begin to expand the Regia Marina, though. The Italian fleet is the fourth largest in the world, however. To claim naval dominance of the Mediterranean, we must challenge our own allies, Britain and France. Albeit a difficult task, we must divert funding to the Regia Marina and protect our waters from any future conflict that awaits us. Actually, the onslaught hasn't happened. It's already September. That is not good. Germany, what are you up to? Seriously, what are you up to? You need it. You need Anschluss now. Oh, they're going to be way too weak for what's going to happen. United... Oh. We do... Oh, we do have claim states. The provisional... Oh, uh, no. Uh, we might actually be able to get this one done before war breaks out. You never know. Kind of doubt it. We'll see. We'll definitely see what happens. More... Uh, yeah, more stability actually would be really nice to get, but we can wait. Whatever. Whatever. Mm, there you go. Nice. Um, we're poised to strike into them anyway, so. How are we doing down here? Doing okay? It's so weird the Chinese are just going on the offensive so hard. They're just like, go, go, go. And probably all of us are like, why are you doing that? You ding-dongs. Uh, dockyards, max factories in the States. Rubber fuel would be so good to get. I'm going to do that one first. A council for angered by the Yugoslav posturing? Yeah, pretty much. Go on, nothing really there. Uh, I'll put it over here. Uh, that's good to get. Uh, we probably need some field hospitals, realistically. Italy just does not have a lot of manpower. Right, off screen, I might check out what's going on with Germany and why they're not taking out Hop's book. Okay. No, I think I'll do this one first. I do. I definitely want that one. How are we building up? We go one, two. It's definitely not enough. Just definitely not enough. Um, best in the support companies. I mean, that'd be nice. Steady British ships, battle cruisers. Ooh, we get more daily naval experience gain. That's really, really strong. Let's send British ships. Britain didn't claim naval superiority for decades, even centuries, with the faulty and out-of-date ships. The British are geniuses at naval warfare and have been allowed to study their ship designs. These blueprints will be a key factor in the future success of our navy. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice, guys. So, how do we know when this is done? Like, does it do anything for us? Does it not do anything for us? I don't see any benefit to it yet. Okay, yeah, I get it. We're questioning their sovereignty. I get it, guys. I get it. <laughs> and you guys are... Uh, if you're not in training, just go and repair. Because we still need some fuel for, like, the planes over in China. So, yeah. Hmm. And we still have green air. We're still getting some daily air XP, which is really, really nice. Actually, if we can get that daily naval XP, we don't need to train anymore. That's actually extremely nice. Okay, so after this one, study British ships, which we're going to do. It's going to take some time. Happy 1939, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Um, really? Anything else here? I'm going to get build more civvies. Nope. Oh, are we done? No, we're not done building. Um, we really need to start making some millies. Do that one there, and then... Um, oh, we actually don't need... To, oh, that's not too bad, actually. That's 10,000 costs, though. Build some up here. Yeah, we definitely need more millies. Eventually, we've got to build even more uh, infrastructure all over the place. Because eventually, people are just going to attack, attack, attack us, but whatever. Uh, we probably need to definitely attack before um, World War II breaks out, and world tension goes way too high. 
I hope to God Germany does go to war with Austria, but there's no guarantee. That's what I always like to do. Just make out max infrastructure, so. Alright, it's not bad. Get some better guns. Because right now we have 3,600. That's not too bad. It's not actually too bad at all. Put the already down here. I want to make those carrier planes. Or just bot planes in general. So there you go. Alright, and let's do... Study British ships. And I'll probably end with a reading of Begin Naval Engineering Courses. The Italian Navy is much smaller than our neighbors. We should train our own engineers and also fund them and collaborate with private naval manufacturing companies to increase production of our naval forces with better engineering courses. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when World War II will probably break out and we might just kill off the Yugoslavians for fun. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.